Hello guys, today we are going to analyze the sodium potassium by using the flame photometer. As well, you know that what are the universal solar can dissolve many cation and anion, and sodium potassium is the major cation, and it is also the important macronutrients for our body. So by using a flame photometer technique, we can analyze the sodium potassium ion. As well, you know the flame photometer is based on the atomic emission spectroscopy, in which the atom goes from ground state to the excited state further come out from excited to the ground state so we calculate the energy difference and measure the sodium potassium calcium magnesium group one and group two metals so welcome to the analytical instrument techniques and today we are going to analyze the sodium potassium ion by using the flame photometer in front of me you see the air compressor which is attached with the flame photometer and we are maintaining the air compressor in between 0 0.4 to the 0 point it is, it is very important for burning the flame and as you see the flame is burning we warm up the instrument uh, almost 30 minutes of every anatomical instrument is very necessary to warm up the instrument so this is the flame photometer by Sustronic and this is the whole instrument look like this is a sketch diagram flame photometer so from starting the sample in liquid state so nebulizer is converted the liquid state to the vapor state just like our David deodorant just you see the compressor nebulizer works like that now it will mix with the fuel in mixing chamber and it will liberate the flame every cation so different flame sodium so different color potassium so different color after the different intensity of light we can say and it's, it is moved to the lens and then move to the monochromatic it's also called the photo detector and uh, we get the result in mg per liter so now move to our instrument uh, how to calibrate the flame photometer we have prepared uh, five standards this is a mix uh, standard we are prepared the total is five just in front of me you can see 175 15 25 in which the concentration first standard the sodium is 100 and uh, the concentration of potassium is 20 so we prepared the four standard from this that ratio now move to the, our instrument and the flame is burning now first of all we move to the setup I press the setup as you see the enter the any number so I enter the 16 number this is our program so I enter the this is the monochromatic that's very important please note it the instrument asks the monochromatic and high concentration because we prepare the standard and we are using these standards in descending order okay and just we see the high concentration and we are using four standard so just we see how we can prepare the standards in another video I will tell you definitely and so, so first standard as we I told you we take 100 and uh, 100 sodium concentration and 20 potassium concentration in second standard we take um, 75 sodium 75 sodium and uh, 15 is potassium in third standard 50 and uh, 10 and last one is 25 and 5 so the concentration of sodium is high and potassium is low so the instrument uh, say this weight so we are waiting because the cleaning the tube it is under the process so this instrument really is not too much high as we compare from ICP this is instrument uh, in low cost and laboratory can purchase this instrument so the calibrate the standard so now we are moving to calibrate our instrument by standard so we can enter the press button yes so just you see the aspirate the standard in descending order okay now we take our standards one by one in descending order as well i told you and aspirate with distilled water so this is instrument i i told you not too much high as compared to icpms it is based on same principle atomic emission spectroscopy okay the instrument stepped us aspirate with distilled water and wet okay now again we are waiting to take it too much time as compared to the ICPMS is very fast 
प्रिंट मेटर इज सिलो ओके नाउ इंस्ट्रक्शन इज एसपरेट विद स्टैंडर्ड ओके नाउ वी आर टेकिंग आवर फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड एंड वी आर डिप आवर नेबलाइजर इन द स्टैंडर्ड एंड टू सी द फ्लेम कलर इज चेंज आई विल शो इट एंड प्लस द एंड एंड टू द वेट प्रोसेस okay this is a whole setup of flame photometer and we are waiting for another standard called second standard and it's taking too much time as compared to icpms okay i already to just you see the flame color the concentration of sodium is too much high and is pale yellow just you see and potassium is 20 different high concentration the flame intensity is too high and our photo detector detect high concentration again it is say the aspirate with distilled water okay again we put the aspirate with standard one by one i am taking 100 75 50 and 25 and each step after standard is aspirate with distilled water this is a great tech. this is great uh, great function of systonic flame photometer to aspirate with distilled water and because we get a accurate and precise result from this instrument and uh, this is aspirate with dis distilled water again okay again we put into the another standard and get the result okay now we are taking a 50 in which the 50 is sodium and uh, the ratio is 10 of potassium okay again aspirate with distilled water and now aspirate the standard now this is our 50 third standard okay and start enter it so just you see the instrument one by one we are taking the standard and our flame color intensity is changing from high intensity to the low and a a compressor is we are maintained between 4 to 5 and we are using lpg gas and drainage pipe you see behind the instrument so again we are taking our last standard in which the concentration of sodium is 25 and the concentration of potassium is 5 so aspirate the standard so this is the not too, too much uh, difficult to operate this instrument one by one the instrument given the instruction you need to follow and batch number 1 started okay this is the now we are taking the sample and we get the result 83 to 2 okay again you will see the different sample and different uh, result you get okay it is under the process and you will see the concentration too much high intensity of flame you see too high so we get the result sodium is 75 and potassium is 9.67 uh, uh, please not this if concentration is too much high the out of calibrated instrument then you dilute your sample according to your conductivity of sample if you know the conductivity is first of each sample that you are analyzing by using flame photometer so if the concentration is too much high it is unable okay again we aspirate with distilled water and taking another sample how much concentration of sodium and potassium okay we enter just check out the how much concentration of sodium and potassium in the sample by using the flame photometer so stronic okay aspirate with sample so this is very smart instrument every each step it is aspirate with the distilled water to clean the tube and now the flame is born just you see the color is intensity of light is increased pale yellow 
already I told you and let's see how much concentration we get in the sample 113 the sample number let's check okay the statement under the process is the same principle atomic emission spectroscopy is under process just we get the result within a few seconds not in minute within the 35 30 32 35 so depend on the sample concentration we get the answer okay we got sodium is 50.8 and potassium is 7.8 so this is a smart instrument guys so